This project that we're working on here, this light, we ran into a um, we ran into a brick wall as we were backing in in Palm Springs because the first night we got there, we had to stay in the overflow spot, which was really tight. Um, so fortunately, that was the only thing that went wrong. But I've got, and most important, Rich is at the hardware store, so it's just me. The ring sling keeps her right up on me. She loves it. I can get in here and learn some stuff. So the little piece came off super easy. Stuff back. Okay, so a couple of learnings with the sealant, which is pretty much like a caulk. You have, I had to figure out how to get it out, <laughs> which I thought would be more obvious, which was not. But I had to cut the top, actually, pretty far down. You want down, Bean? There you go. Come on. That's ready to go. To get the to be able to puncture it, because you gotta puncture it on the inside, and I didn't have anything long enough. We don't have any wire hangers, we just got the um, velvet ones. But I figure I need a pretty big, like this is what we're trying to accomplish, so I felt com confident cutting it a little bit deeper. We also don't have a cock gun, so I went online and found out you can use the butt end of the, the hammer to put it through, so let's see if that this guy on here. I had to use the I'd use the silicone caulk and the hammer and just kind of use my body to get it to come out. It, it came out, you'll see, I showed you earlier, it came out a little bit messy, but now I'm coming in. I'm just going to kind of clean it up with a little wet paper towel. And I think that's going to harden really nice. The guy at the store had almost sold me the white one. And then I showed him a picture and he said, oh, you need the clear one. And I'm really glad, because I think like once I get this flat, you're not really gonna see it. 